you mentioned uh, a couple times now about Malik the person and um, the video, I'm sure you have seen it, that went viral from the combine, was captured by a member of the media having lunch across the street um, uh, from a, a corner in Indianapolis where they spot Malik Willis opening up what appeared to be, you know, a swag bag that he had just received and giving um, some, what looks like a hat or just some warm clothing to a person sitting on um, a carton on a street corner, clearly needing some help. And what this was, you know, he had no idea who he was being captured. He had no idea that this was being posted. And this is just him, you know, being what appears to be just him. So what can you tell me about him? That you, is him. That that is uh, him all day. I'm shocked he didn't, he, he would have given them the whole suitcase if uh, if they if he'd have felt uh, that they needed it. And he he's just that way. He's done that ever since he's been here. Um, at our most recent uh, bowl game, uh, you know, you do the community service events, and we kind of scatter those. You know, rotate through our roster to to where everybody doesn't have to do every single one of those, and um, the the uh, our personnel department kind of heads that up for us and they made a, a critical error and the day before the game it was the last uh, community service event and and they waited and had the d-line assigned to that well you don't do that you let the d-line go first early in the week <laughs> because uh, after that practice there many of the d-line were complaining to our personnel people and you know i'd already left and headed back to watch film and get ready for the game and the type of person Malik is, he just steps up and says, that's fine. If if they don't want to go, me and the offensive line will uh, do another shift and we'll go. And and he did. And now the D-line went with him, of course. But that's the type of, of guy he is and leader he is. And he's he's just been that consistent with that throughout his, his, his time here. And he's just uh, – I called him last night just to check in on him and – and uh, man, he just has that same that spirit about him that makes everybody around him better. I can't wait to meet him. I'll be honest with you. I really yeah, want. I you're, really. You're really gonna like him. I mean, he is this genuine, and as um, I mean, he he's like a little kid at heart, and that's the way he practices. That's the, and that would drive me crazy sometimes. What do you mean? Um, so you just uh, we just dropped a pass in the red zone in practice, and I'm furious, or we made the wrong read, or we fumbled, and here he is over there with the defense congratulating them on making a play, and I'm wanting to just jerk him over there. So what would you know? And and his whole deal, oh, coach, we'll make the next one. We'll make the next one. <laughs> you know, and he just and he believes that 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 he will, but. He, and that's why I was I was at the Senior Bowl meeting with one of the general managers up top, and I was trying to explain to them this same thing. And I said, you know what, instead of me explaining it, can we just step to the window and watch him? And I think you'll see because I know him so well. And sure enough, he did his reps. And after his reps are over, he's over here talking to some defensive end, laughing and joking, and then they break, and the quarterback coach take the others, and, and here he is still talking to this defensive end. <laughs> and then he's got to sprint over there because he's late to his drill. I said, that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of kids you're getting, but everybody loves being around him. And um, and so it's um, – He's just a special individual, and I think you'll see it when you meet him. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.